Okay, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Dylan. Today in Omni Geometry, we are practicing making a dodecahedron. Uh, so this is the fifth platonic solid that is not straightforward to make in this program. So I've just been doing some messing around and seeing what I can create. So let's begin. Okay, so I'm just going to begin with the center point, which is the Origio lines, as such. Okay, so as I zoom in, you'll see this is where the pentagons will form, around here. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to turn it onto lines. I'm going to flip it. And I am going to triple the radius. So the base radius we're working with here is 60. So I'm going to triple that to 180. Okay. And I'm going to copy that and flip that as well. There we are. So we can sort of start to see it forming here, like it's going to be about this size. And we're gonna have some lines joining there. Now, the thing with this one is that we're going to have to put a, uh, like a masking layer around these edges here because it's gonna form a lot of triangles and points out here that aren't part of the central dodecahedron but we'll do that at the end. Okay, so I believe we're gonna take this one here, copy it and put on the star parameter. And the star radius is going to be 60 because that is what our base radius is. And look at that, it connects those lines up. So if I take a masking layer, we'll see how this looks. So, copy that, I'm gonna do six points. We're going to increase the line weight. I've been putting it at like 80, a very thick, and turning it black. Uh-huh, you see? We're doing. I'll put it a little bit brighter so we can still see it. I'm just going to reduce the radius and first though I need to spin it like that. Yeah, just reducing the radius a little bit till it nearly touches those edges. Okay, do a little bit more. Okay, that will do for now. So what you can see here is, I mean, this could technically be a dodecahedron, it is all pentagons, but it's not quite right. It's not what a platonic solid would look like in its three-dimensional form. So the actual dodecahedron has a line here, and, there, and this is not straight here, so this would curve to that point there. So how do we do that? We can make simply one of these hexagons. So I'm going to do an extra layer, no recursion, six points, and this one is in this shape, which is what we need. And let's try that radius. So I'm going to try for double the base radius. Nope, that's too big. Base radius, too small, somewhere in between. Still a little bit too small. Let's do 110. That's what I'm looking for. It's sort of, it's nearly lining up. Ah, oh, no, that's what, that's right. The number is the sacred 108. There we go, that's hit those points. 
So now this bit, it looks a bit more dodecahedral. Uh, and in fact, I think that's actually simply it. We're just going to copy this layer, spin it around again, and expand that radius so we can see those edges. Maybe there, 155. This one I'll reduce by one. Yes, there we go. That is a perfect dodecahedron. So, uh, how can we improve this? Well, those edges still not quite right. So if I reduce that, it cuts it off a little bit too much. So I'm going to go 0 0.05. Yes, and I'll do the same with this one. Just reducing it a little bit so we cut, just trim those edges back. Okay, and yeah, it looks like this is covering all those edge points. So if I just hide these, actually I won't hide them, I'll just reduce the opacity so that you can see. There we go, that, so that's, that's the form that is creating our dodecahedron and we're just hiding all the edges. So just increase the opacity and that covers it completely. And if I color them black, there we go, perfect dodecahedron. So if we select it all, uh, I don't know if we'll be able to angle it, will we? No, that's just going to mess it up. We can use the animation rotation. And so that should all rotate at the same rate. Let's go, ah, look at that. Yeah. And so then if we stop the animation, we can see it on its other, on its other edge. So that's one edge. And that's another edge there. There we go. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, it's less simple than the other platonic solids, but it is doable in this program. All the best to you and much love. Okay, I just wanna add one little extra bit of making this look translucent so we get to see the back portion of the dodecahedron. It's very simple, just copying two layers and changing their color. So we're gonna copy this layer and this layer. These two, copy, and we're going to flip them both as well. So that means like that. There we go. And I will carry those two to the bottom and change the coloring so that it's really got that translucent look. Great.